We're heading back to the graveyard. Because I plan on using my shortcut. If I can remember how to use it. Also, I hope it's two ways. Or this will be awkward. I'm trying to check back in here. There we go. Thank God there's a shortcut. If only he could have found that the first time around instead of doing the sewers. Because that was a mess. You do straight up have to go through his creepy room to get there, don't you? Kind of interesting how much this reminds me of the... Uh... Oh, here we go. <clears throat> it's interesting how much this reminds me of the underground area in... What's it called? They're red. In, uh, path Pathologic. Nah, not you. You just want me to go murder someone again. There we go. You're way too developed of a character to not have anything for me. Hey, newbie. What do you need? Can I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Tell me about what you do. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. And at the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the net network. Upgrading what? What are you going to say? <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Yeah, so what do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Maybe I can help you out. Y yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I'm in. What do I need to do? Uh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. By the way, how'd you end up down here, Mitnick? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> But one day I ran across this system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. Yeah? What was it? It was, uh... Uh... Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, here I am. Wow, that sucks. You got totally nabbed and made into, well, sorry. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Thanks for the story. I'm out of here. There we go. He will be contacting you with instructions via your email account back at your haven. Ah. I still haven't seen my new haven, which is in zone 2 now or something? I gotta say, this game has a strange way of handling quests compared to most 
Western RPGs, I feel like, which is that with some of these characters, they have super missable quests because you kind of have to ask... You kind of have to, like, deliberately ask them to give you a quest by asking them three times in a row down a specific path of a, uh, a tree where every step of the way they give you, like, four options and every single other option on the screen will divert you away from that as if there never was a quest. And so you can really come away from a conversation feeling like you've exhausted all of the dialogue options only to find out, like, oh wait, there's, they still had... Like, they never gave you a quest. And they, they gotta give you a quest because they're, like, a developed character. They're either gonna be coming up in the main story or they're gonna have a side quest for you or both because otherwise why'd they make them in the first place, usually? But yeah, like, there's, I, I've been surprised how missable it is sometimes where, like, my normal way of dealing with dialogue just straight up doesn't work sometimes in this game because these characters will just openly avoid giving you what you need when you think you've pressed everything. Hey. Got a few minutes to talk? Sure, whatever. Let me get away hate Tawny Sessions. Uh, because she's a bitch with zero talent who the world seems to think has taken my place as the hottest supermodel of all time? Could I be any more clear? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over that little violin. That's it! As if I have to take this bullshit from some low-life Camarilla gopher boy! Hit the road, asshole! Jesus. Hold on, I was kidding. Can't you take a joke? Let's, let's keep talking. Hmm, okay. You want to get back on my good side? Then don't come back here until you've got last year's copy of Guy magazine where I'm on the cover. You know, the one where I was wearing the gum wrapper and the two bottle cap. I'll think about it later. You just want, she just wants a magazine? Huh. I really thought that she was going to ask me to kill that person. Maybe she still will. Uh, that's where I, that's the no. But just wanting a magazine. Okay. I guess they're at the gas station. I still feel like she's going to ask me to kill her, and that's where we're going to part ways. Because that's just like a random murder. It sound it doesn't even, maybe I, I could be forgetting, of course, but... Uh, it sounds like they don't even know each other, and she's just an awful, jealous person. Which is... Oop. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> just such a weirdly loud noise to play. There we go. And we're back out. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend that's normal, huh? Man, uh... The people in LA in this game really just... hand wave a lot. Do they just always think people are shooting movies and that's why they keep hearing weird sounds constantly? And seeing weird sights? I don't know, maybe, maybe seeing dead bodies is just a normal L.A. thing. <laughs> Alright, so if I were to get a magazine, I would just go to the gas station. Generally speaking. Whereas if I want the... Yeah, let's go to Red Spot. Whereas if I want email, I don't think I have access to email in this zone. Dad's nah. back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the... What's up? Oh. Uh, <sighs> welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? Yeah, so what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. <laughs> We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah. I uh, wonder how they rocks. microwave burritos they in, in the anymore, Middle Ages. Damn, the girls in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. 
What? 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 Uh, great. Maybe I'll check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll buy it. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Chocolate syrup for peanut butter. I'm going to lose my mind. The radio and him and the random asshole are all talking at the same time. Oh, my... The language center of my brain. My... My God. Alright, show me what you got. He's just selling guns. Because of course he is. Oh. That's what I want. What's the word, Gomez? This is serious. There are a lot of organizations that would do anything in their power to keep... 450. I don't doubt. This is a set of light leather clothing. Armor rating of 2, but slightly hinders mo uh, movement. Minus 1 dexterity. Ah. Uh, I'll still buy it. Keep the option there. <laughs> Maya, what if the world's a video game? That's like crazy. Wow. What the fuck? I, I guess it is a garbage katana and not a real one, but seven dollars feels low. That you've turned up lately. And sell the watch. Sell the watch. Sell the morphine. This jewel is the famous Pearl of Dubai. It's very precious and full of magical vibrancy. It gives you a boost to your charisma. Oh, neat. Gives me a boost to the thing that I don't normally have stats of. Fancy ring. There we go. Want you to spend money on this stuff. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond bought a sports utility vehicle. Go, go. Three months later, there were two. And get your guns out of here. I wonder how they microwave burritos in the Middle Ages. Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children vote Republican Senator Robert? Thorne. Might as well just sell for the, sell these things because they're they're just going to give me more. Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding you ever think like you Oh all god. One big video you game I can't take the dual levels of stupid between you and the parody of political ads. He's just fucking screaming over here. I want to end you. You won't see me, right? <laughs> Hot dogs. Hmm. Rather, rather, rather ambitious here about how many hot dogs you think you're gonna sell, huh? Can't help but think that. Uh, minus one to dexterity, but plus two to armor. I don't know, it might be worth it. I'm torn, because I just increased my dexterity, of course. But armor? And also a chance to look different again? Oh man, world's changing over here. All right. Yeah, dexterity is minus one, but still costs more to level it up again, regardless. All right, that's not what I just increased. That's only lock pick and sneaking. Ah, never mind. Dexterity is actually not that bad to reduce. So basically, I need, I have one armor set for stealth and one armor set for combat, and I can switch between them on the fly. Yeah, that's not that bad. That's that's fine. Forgot why I was actually there. Got a little distracted by the, all the voices in my head, and also the real ones. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Deb of Night on KTRK. The Deb of I'm Night. Lovely hostess, feel free to fantasize. Find our copy of Bye. Guy magazine. But please don't send any more. Ch uh, Chin magazine. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some? More? Where did I park my car again? Oh wait, I don't. Oopsie. I've made a mistake. 
I just want a copy of Guy Magazine. Oh. No one sees me, right? Okay, you know, I'll just go back around. It's fine. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. In case you didn't know it, you're tuned into the Deb of Night on KTRK. I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to fantasize about me all you want. But please, None of those are Guy. The lines are all full, so why don't I provide some more? Car wax. And what have you been up to tonight? All food Ooh. should have like a creamy center and a colorful candy shell, and the commercial the should have like kung fu or giraffe. Touché. What the fuck did he just say? Yes, General. Hola. I'd like to see the special, by which I mean I want to know what books you sell. You don't sell any books. Chocolate yes. syrup for peanut Virginia. butter. Dude, I have to dip these. Yeah, that didn't that didn't work? There goes that idea. Well, shit. Guy magazine. Metalhead Industries. Not a magazine place. Not a magazine place. I think the fast book isn't even a real building. Yeah, you can't go in. Oh, no one saw that. No one saw that. It's fine. Oh, nope, they saw that. God damn it. Uh. From like a moment ago. I don't really accept that kind of thing as a canonical thing that happens. Fuck. That's unfortunate. Deb's back and she's got a just an, it was just next and a little right click. Alright, I'd like to see the special. Uh, oh wait, no, I already do have the armor. I just don't have it equipped right now. Cool. We lost like no time. I don't really know where I'm going to look for this ma magazine, so maybe I'll just ignore that objective for a moment. And instead focus on getting, uh... Going somewhere. There go. For now, just drive. Santa Monica. Uh, they did give me an updated place. I should visit that location, I guess. Part of me was just thinking, I know, I know how to find this place better. But I guess I should go to... downtown? It's one of the apartment buildings, right? The, uh... Uh, it's the one that he's not in. Is this the fancy nice one? I believe so. Because he's in that one, but I believe it's the other one. Yeah, Venture Tower. Venture, Venture Tower is six? Yeah. Out of the Brook Hotel. Yeah, it's over by one and two, so... Gotta remember which one it was. So I believe it was the one where... I think it was Skyline. I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's any in-game mechanic that would tell me where my apartment is. I think I just have to remember based on the previous discussion a while ago. Yeah, there's no like property tab, I don't think. Mom's best brew. Is he still hiding in here? No. That was him though, right? Yeah. So I think this was the reporter.
Because the one I'm in should be where my ghoul is. Alright, well that's not mine. <laughs> 103 kind of sounds right. Shit. There we go. Hey, there you are. Oh, you're back. I, um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. You did what? Where is he? Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? I don't know yet. I'll see what I can do. Uh, she's acting on her own. That's dangerous. In this kind of example. I'm angry. Rar. Is that a stash? It's, yep, there's my Ithaca. Right, I forgot I had a stash. The fuck? When you gaze upon this object, the skies darken and lightning flashes. Those who aren't... Those aren't good clues to what it is, though. It looks like a fun rock. Galgium. Potent... Fortitude... Protein... Whoa, all of my stats got... All of my stats just got 25% longer. Or all of my status effects got 25% longer. Holding this rough-hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace, and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You're able to hold this effect, the effect of most passive disciplines, longer, as long as you possess the Galgium. The durations are increased by 25%. Whoa. Well, that's really good. That would have been really helpful sooner. I wish I'd come here sooner. Wasn't expecting bizarre passive items to just be sitting around around here. Alright, periodic quick save. Don't want to make the mistake of not doing that periodically, because stuff happens. Uh, do we have more than one bathroom? Oh, the bedroom bathroom. Hey, he looks like everyone. Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! You'll do no such thing. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. How will you be able to communicate with the broken jaw and hands? Oh, come on now. I didn't mean it. I, I should have known there was something wrong with that broad. <laughs> Look, I'll give you money. Whatever you want. Just let me go, all right? Please, don't kick my ass. Oh man, I think I just shit myself. Get out of here. Say a word and I'll find you, and you'll regret it. Fade to black. Then he's gone. Poop. <laughs> the usual thing that RPGs do when they don't want to have a character path. Or navigate. Which, you know... Often better than the alternative, because a lot of games, they there's some games where the character will then try to sprint for the door, and boy will they struggle, and it'll look really awkward and embarrassing for everyone. Hello? This looks... Di is it stretched? Because it's widescreen? I, other game, other... Other computers were 4x3, right? Email. Hack my own computer. Because I don't remember my own password anymore. Nine. Business in Hollywood from LaCroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. 
I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure to review the review is unfavorable. SL. Wow. This is some real petty shit. I thought you wanted me to get the sarcophagus, asshole. But now I got time for this, apparently. Don't you have other people that work for you? The cost from a friend. The cost of an attack is often paid later. First network hub from Mitnick Yo at YoMama.VTM. Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica, in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send, this is actually kind of hard to read because it's stretched so weirdly. I'll send another email with recon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the ShrekNet command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. Megahertz Computing is at the end of the 2nd Street in Santa Monica, next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door, so you have to go find an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key to the door in the mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. Library from Beckett at Legend WTM. Hello, young one. LaCroix praised you as very capable, so maybe you can assist me with something. A fellow gangrel named Scott, who was doing research for me in the LA Public Library, did notice a La Sombra there. As I'm preoccupied right now, please meet him in the stead at my smoke shop at, the Santa, Mar at Santa Monica to learn details. After all, Sabat always means trouble, and we wouldn't want anything bad happening to all the precious knowledgeable, would we, Beckett? I think what's messing with me about reading this is when I go from the right side of the screen back to the left to find the new line, the the, the spacing being stretched and weird is make, making me look at the wrong lines. Holy crap, how much email did I get? Last time I finished the zone and went back to the emails, there was nothing there, but now there's tons of things there. You still around? From Bertram. If you're reading this, I guess you're still among the dead. Got a proposition for you, if you're not too busy. You know where to find me. Won't be too difficult, Bertram. What? Prince is promoting you from Gary at Shreknet.VTM. Hey, boss. Did some spring cleaning today and came across something that might uh, tickle you. A kid used to live here, had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorable psycho, favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got in touch a nostalgist, so. You find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me, I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Um... That's just a weird fucking quest. You wanna- Hey, you wanna- You want a poster of that weird lady that you killed one of her personalities in front of you? Oh yeah, cheap Rolex. Ain't the only stuff that we got, man. We got much hotter, much deadlier stuff, you know? And like all the other quality LA proprietors, we need, uh, we got new stock and old of the time. So check it out from Larry. Oh. Did I finally reach the end? Holy crap. There were so many. It's because there was a second page. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, this page doesn't even reach the bottom of the page. Oh, 16 total emails. Choose 1 to 10. Okay. That's how you know. Yeah, I missed that detail. I missed that detail because it was a little hard to see. There we go. Wow. Wow, we busy, huh? Damn. Even Bertram wants a quest. Bertram's back, Beckett's back, the Prince is back. Gary has a woo bizarre quest. What? Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, we busy. Yeah, we're not quite ready for Chinatown as it turns out. We got a few things to keep up with here. Master? I let him go. Never, ever do that again, Heather. I'm really, really sorry. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I can't stay mad at you. Fine. Apology accepted. See you later, Heather. Trying to help, but... Yeah. I think when I tried to save her life, I wasn't fully prepared for her to, like... Well, do all this, really. But yeah, they, uh... Completely... They just completely give up on their previous life and become completely dedicated to you. Blah. That's where things get weird. That's where things get plenty weird. There we go. Alright. Looks like we're picking things up in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm.